Alright, what's up guys, this is Trace, and this is a new video uh, where I create a M33 mod menu, and um, I think I'm going to make this as a series, so uh, if you like it, like it, then just post it down in the comments, and <coughs> I don't know how it will call it, probably like Road to Mod Menu. For M33, I know it says Ghost Menu, but I will rename it now. So, rename M33 Menu. Yeah, whatever. Um, so, in this video, I will be working on the execute, execute client command hook. So, this I already coded some stuff, like. Um, these offsets, I got these updated to M33, then use title update, I think that's TU23, and yeah, I got execute client command, um, yeah, and all these functions we need. Uh, I got that function because I tested some stuff, so I can, I guess I can delete this. I already, uh, I mean, I also coded. Um, a class called menu so we toggle everything in it um, I yeah okay so if you don't know what I'm doing here then just um, how to code I mean how to how to use classes and stuff <coughs> so then I got the menu struct, a bool for open and closing menu, monitoring menu, yeah, the execute client command, and yeah, I need to update these two functions, and I guess we can start now, so <coughs> first of all, we need the um, Client index for m 3 so this will be client s m minus because I already looked in the m 3 x x and it says already all right uh, so uh, it says um, that it's minus I mean subtracting over here, so our client index is equals to our 11 um, subtract, subtracting from our 28. So um, we need we need the offset for client s. I updated um, the function too, so. If you don't have it, just type it down from what I got. Then divide it by and divide it by. So it's R three equals to R five divided by R six. R six is what? So just copy that. Right, paste. Okay, so now we got the client index. And now we need um, for monitoring the menu, we need an instruct. Yeah, okay. So I'll be creating an instruct. Type instruct. Button is S. And I will be adding stuff like Open menu, oops, open menu. Open, uh, open menu. Right. Then scroll up. Scroll down. And back. Alright. Now we need a function to get these buttons. 
I was thinking about setting them, but I guess getting them is better than, yeah, setting. Right, so we type in um, buttons as uh, get buttons. Alright. So now we get the buttons, I guess. Just type in buttons s menu because let's go to in the class and get buttons. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, it's not the file. Awesome. Right. We should do it, yeah. Okay. So now we type in buttons s, so the script, and we define it as button. Then we set button. Uh, oh, okay. Too many T's. Now we type in button and open menu. Oh, um, now we need the buttons now. Uh, so, we got all these. And for opening the menu, I will be using button D pad left. And now, button, um, scroll down. Button D pad down. Yeah. Now button scroll up. Oops. Scroll up. Button scroll up. Oops. Ah. D pad on. Yeah. Stupid. Button back will be um I thought about using uh, oh too many T's again button R S I guess I thought about, I thought about using that so I guess I'll just take that. And now we need to now we need to turn button again. All right. So now we set these buttons for the execute client command hook. So if string string s and so it's comparing the strings s like it's execute client command hook. Like if you if you if we press um yeah, get buttons um open menu then it will do some stuff. Alright, I forgot something, because we need this for 18 clients, for all clients, so we need to type in client, alright, do this for every single one, alright. And now, um, and um, yeah. Now we need to use the menu struct. Um, I will be do. I will using it. Like this menu struct. Climb. Menu open is equal to client menu open. 
so we'll just it will um, talk about uh, it will talk about boom so like if it's false it will set or uh, it will be setting it to true and if it's false I mean if it's true it will be setting it to false so now um, I think I will just uh, create a new function called toggle menu from the pool to state. Oops. So now we type in void again menu toggle menu and then we do state. Yeah, okay, uh, now if state, so if it's true, then we will open the menu and else, so if it's not true, um, and we will close the menu. So now we just use it like this, toggle menu, and then menu, oops, menu, struct, client, menu, open. Alright. Okay, so now we need, um, the toggling, I mean the scrolling. If string string S and get buttons um scroll down. Function for that, and also we need if oops, just good time do that. Um, if string string and eh, back. So if you press if we press back, it won't close the menu. It just go back to the main menu. Besides, it, it, it is in the menu. Uh, it is in the main menu. Um, yeah, I think that's it for the first video. Um, if you like it, then just um, post a comment on what you like and what I could improve. Like any ideas, just post them down in the comments. And I also hear that some people from Germany are watching my videos, so if they want to uh, make videos in German, then just close it down, and I guess that would be make it much easier for me, because my English is not that good, and I could talk more stuff in a good more. I mean, I could um, I could explain um, this, these things. I mean, all of this code much better in German. Um, but yeah, uh, um, I guess that's it. Yeah, like the video if you liked it. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.